Hey guys, it's RC. I am back. Uh, sorry for that little sporadic uh, start there. I've got it hot keyed, and unfortunately, sometimes when I am typing some things, uh, the uh, the stream starts. So that's a little odd, I know. But uh, hey, you know, I'm still kind of new at this. Uh, I've only been streaming for uh, not even a week yet. So uh, if you're tuning in, I certainly do appreciate it. Uh, if you're not tuning in, that's okay too. Oh, and I just saw that you do not have to uh, refresh the page. I actually it just popped up with a, a resume uh, option and uh, got right back into it. So cool. So I did learn something about my uh, my stream today. So that's helpful. All right. Well, let's get back into it. Let's take a look at the schedule real quick. All right. So the season ends. February 24th and then of course you get into your conference tournaments and then March Madness uh, in, in uh, the, like the second week of March um, we probably won't be looking at that this year not at 9 and 11 but uh, you know hopefully we can make a run in our conference tournament and if we can win four five six we got seven games left I mean that would put us uh, 16 and 11 on the season probably still too low um, probably still too low to do anything related to a uh, major one of the two major tournaments uh, the NCAA or the NIT now normally there's another basketball game that I do a video series for on my YouTube channel um, it actually has the ability to turn off the third and fourth tier tournaments because much like college football I think there's way too many tournaments and way too many bowl games uh, and it dilutes the product so uh, I think if you're not good enough to make the NIT then you probably shouldn't be playing uh, in a postseason tournament uh, personal feeling you know I don't begrudge any team that goes but um, you know unfortunately in this game I don't have the option to turn it off so I don't know we we might be able to lose every game and still get a uh, tournament invite somewhere <laughs> uh, let's see oh bear with me a second I do need to uh, I forgot to do this I need to publish my video there alright so that's actually uh, the video that's going up today for this series uh, I think we are doing episode nine right now, and that was episode six that went up today. So, you know, I usually try to keep a couple of episodes ahead for a recording standpoint. You know, just because you never know when real life's going to crop up and you won't have time to, uh, you know, do a recording or play for, you know, a day, uh, you know, a couple of days. Or, you know, may, like last week, I had to go out of town on work for a week uh, for four days, and, you know, it uh, just cuts down on your ability to uh, to do things uh, for fun when you're uh, you know earning money to pay the bills. All right, back into it. So we're going to finish up uh, January, get into February, and we'll be in the home stretch here. All right, so another game against Lamar. Strange that we play a couple of teams twice, but we're playing. Uh, we only play. Um, who was it? Central uh, Central Arkansas that we played one time we were looking at I don't remember so it looks like we got a win there Week's almost over. Oh, we do pick up another game. Oh, wow. Win here. We could get back to 500 on the season. Or we could get to 500 on the season. That would be awesome. And we do. So, 2-0 and this week. We're 8-3 and in the Southland Conference. We get our record back on the season to 500 for the first time since uh, since we were 2-2 two and, two and two, uh, after starting. You have new mail after starting the season 2-0, and so that's awesome. 
Alright, let's take a look at these. So, Lamar, Jeremy Brookhart, player of the game. 12 points, 9 assists, 6 boards. Pretty good line. Now, according to his plus minus, he was just about the worst guy in our starting five, so go figure. 16 points for our point guard, 24 points, 6 boards for our center. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at that plus minus again. 16 points, 16 and 6, 6 and 6. So, you know, I guess Kibu could have... Uh, argued that he was uh, up for player of the game but uh, he's won his share so uh, only three lead changes two ties so we kind of put this one away early um, to ended up 10 points up in the at halftime never looked back so that was a good win for us and we did beat Lamar 79 66 now it was yeah Central Arkansas we only played them one time southeast Louisiana twice UNO once McNeese twice so I don't know how that figures out who you play once or who you play twice um, I, I guess I always assumed you played all your conference games uh, foes twice evidently not uh, Kibu back to player of the game with 24 points and 6 rebounds, 17 points, 8 assists for Brookhart, 14 points, 5 assists. And then we had two guys come off the bench, Scott Graham and Jeremy Johnson also ended up in double digits. So really good game. We shot 60% from the floor. That's astounding. 95% from the charity stripe and 38% from three-point line. Uh, that might be the best game uh, of the season for these guys. Standing-wise, what does that do for us? We jump up into a tie with McNeese for the conference lead. We're only a game up in the win column over these uh, other two teams and uh, a game, you know, a game and a half up on Abilene Christian. Now we have the tiebreaker over them. Uh, we've got the tiebreaker over McNeese. Central Arkansas we only play once and Houston Baptist beat us. So if it comes down to a tiebreaker it's going to be rough but uh, we'll see what we can do here. So let's take a look at the schedule and we are on February 5th. So this week we might have just one game against Southeast Louisiana, so let's see what happens there. Now just to kind of plug my channel for a minute, a lot of times mostly what I stream is uh, Fallout 4. Uh, when I'm doing character build playthroughs, when I'm developing a character uh, uh, for Fallout 4, and I'll do a playthrough with that. Uh, that's mostly what I stream, but, you know, I'm trying to pick up, uh, you know, pretty much anything that I can, uh, you know. I think, you know, all, all of these are going to be videos on my YouTube channel, so I figure if I'm going to put them up on my YouTube channel, I just assume stream them while I'm recording it. Uh, you know, just to see what happens. Uh, so, yeah. And looks like we got the win. We are over 500 since the beginning of the season when we were 2-1. and one. And that was after three games. Only took us 20 games to get back to that spot. <laughs> you have new mail. All right, so let's go check the mail. It's probably... Well, we are getting late in the season, so you can see we've been just getting scouting reports. But here we get a... Uh, an email with the finalist for the Norton Award. Now, again, this is what they're they're calling it in the game. I don't think that's the real name of the award, 
but it's the uh, probably the Naismith Award or something in real life. Uh, basically, it's the Heisman Trophy for college basketball. Um, you know, for the best player in the country. So you can kind of look through there. And, uh, yeah, I don't see anybody from Sam Houston State on that list. That's a shocker. <laughs> all right, we're going to delete all of these. Uh, go back into the schedule. And we did beat Southeast Louisiana. Kibu White, 29 points, 10 boards. Very good game for him. 8 points, 4 boards for Adrian Scott. 19 and 5 with 7 assists for Brookhart. So, really good game. Uh, only one lead change, and it was never tied. So, they evidently got uh, either a basket, and then we got a three-point uh, shot, or they got a foul shot on a one-and-one, and, one, and then we got a we got a bucket. And uh, never looked back. So, that's a, a dominating game there. All right. We've got uh, four games left in the season. So we're going to sim a week. Not time to get overconfident yet. Still a tight race. I am happy that we're doing as well as we are. You know, after the rough out of conference uh, results that we ended up with, uh, it is good to be winning in conference. So, ah, there's a loss. Back to 500. Ah. It's like one step forward and two steps back. And McNeese got us this time, so two losses in a row that's going to knock us out of the race for the uh southland number one seed for the regular season championship i believe and well we're tied for second we're only a game back from central arkansas and there's a log jam at nine and five boy let me tell you <laughs> all right let's look at the schedule so yeah two losses central arkansas got us 70 98 79 uh yeah it wasn't even close only three lead changes so we had the dominant game and then they blew us out this one um all five of their starters finished in the pluses which means we all started in the minuses and Cash and Moten, 23 points, 17 points for Crudup, and our, you know, two of our th big scores in uh, White and Brookhart pretty much shut down completely. And wow, Kibu White did not get a single rebound in the entire game. 25 minutes. Man, that's. And then McNeese got uh, revenge on us. 24 points for Kareem Dobbins. Uh, we were close in this one. It, I mean, it was a it was a tightly con contested game. 23 points and five boards. That's kind of right in line with his uh, season average, 15 and five. You know, that's the kind of game when we have four guys finishing double digits. You know, you would think we might win that game but they shot 57 percent from the field we had a lot of foul shots but only shot 66 percent um, which you know honestly is not bad for our college but you know we had that one game we looked at a little while ago where we were 90 percent that might have been last video but um, yeah well all right, standing-wise, we already looked at that, didn't we? Yep. All right. So we've got uh, 
two games left. February 24th. So I'm going to go ahead and send them to that date, to the 25th, which will be the day after, and then that'll get us up to the conference tournament. Assuming we have one, I'm pretty sure we do uh, in the Southland Conference. Uh, the Cajuns actually used to be part of the Southland Conference, uh, my alma mater, uh, years and years ago, um, before they went over to the uh, Sunbelt Conference. Oh, that was an ugly loss. We only got 46 points, it looked like. Well, so we are now doomed to finish below 500 at uh, uh, 12 and 14 with just one game left, but we will finish with a winning conference record no matter what happens in the uh, conference tournament, counting that game. All right, so we get that win. Let's go take a look at our schedule. Yeah, 61-48. Wow, Northwestern just really put it to us. 24 points for Moten. Four points, five boards, seven assists for Brookhart. Kibu White, zero points, 0 for 5 shooting, four boards, only played 17 minutes. And he didn't foul out. He didn't have foul trouble. So I. that's one of the things I can't figure out about the game is he has the same number of he has the same percentage of playing time but you know and, and neither neither one of these guys had foul trouble they only had two you get five in a game so they they certainly did not get in foul trouble to sit down um I don't know. And then your guys off the bench are playing 22 minutes, so more, you know, more than the starters are playing, which shouldn't be happening. Um, so I can't explain that at all. And then our season finale with Abilene Christian, Kibu White, player of the game again, 20 points, seven boards, 13 and seven with five assists for Brookhart. 13 and 10 for Crudup as he gets a double double. And you can see we were at 83% on our foul shooting. So, you know, we might have won that game if we would have shot 20% better. Only one lead change. So we, we had a pretty dominant game up 13 at the half. We, we actually lost the second half. So it's a good thing we had that lead. <laughs> uh, we had a 24 point lead. Um,. All right, I do not. This is actually the first time season I've played in this game. So let's see. We finish uh, third place at 10 and 6 in the conference, 13 and 14 overall. We've got an RPI of uh, 135. So RPI is basically a rating number that is the number that is typically used when placing teams into a seeding for a tournament. Um, I don't even know what forms that is. <laughs> so naturally our conference records will be our seeding, so we'll be a three seed in the conference tournament, but Basically, so let's say the NCAA tournament has 64 teams. So if your RPI is anywhere from 1 to 64, you'll get into that tournament. So we don't have anybody that will qualify. Now, that's not exactly accurate because your conference champions get an automatic berth. And this is why sometimes when you watch uh, March Madness for the tournament selection committee, you'll have uh, a, a, a 15 or a 16 seed that doesn't look really good or might actually have a losing record because let's face it Nichols State at 3 and 13 and 11 and 16 could win our tournament 
they would get the automatic berth to the NCAA tournament, irregardless of their record, by winning the conference tournament. Um, but then nobody else, and that's why you would have a team with a good RPI that would m not make that tournament and get pushed down to the NIT. But if you use that 64 as a rough number, so 1 to 64, then 65 to 128, all right? So 128, that would put uh, Houston Baptist into the NITs. And then 129 to, you know, like around 190. So McNeese, Buzz, Incarnate Word. You know, those are three teams that could get into that third tier uh, tournament in the postseason. So that's kind of where RPI comes in, just in case you wanted to know or wondered how they did that. Uh, so let's... Uh, I'm going to sim to the postseason. All right, so that finished the last couple of games. Those pop ups are my email notifications. I have them set to pop up. I, I don't know if I like that or not. It's kind of a new computer, and that's something I haven't had before. So yeah, I, th I think that was a default setting. I, I may turn that off. Although it is nice to have it pop up, you know, if I'm not paying attention and it's something I'm, that's urgent for me, but yeah. You have new mail. It does kind of get in the way of, uh, you know, when I'm recording. All right, so this is Houston Baptist. So this is our conference tournament. Um, I do not see alright well that it's added in now but you know there should be a way to find See, I'm looking. There should be a way to see your bracket for the conference tournament. I would think. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, that's kind of a big deal. It's the postseason. I mean, I'd like to see the, the bracket, you know, for for our tournament. Um, let's see, Southland tournament. All right, that's just, that's just award winners. So that doesn't help me any. And there's nowhere here. Yeah, I'm gonna make a note of that. I think they ought to you ought to be able to see that. Um, able to see. Tourney bracket. Yeah, I'm going to post that as a suggestion over on the uh, Wolverine Studios uh, forum. Wolverine is the company that uh, makes this game. It does have a free demo, so check it out if you're interested in it at their website. Uh, I have a video up uh, with a uh, kind of a game recapture of all the games that I'm playing on my YouTube channel. And uh, you can find uh, all the links there. Alright, so we're going to delete that. We're going to go back in. We're going to sim just the day. And then we will go back to it. And we lost. Alright, so Jim Stewart, HBU's shooting guard, 14 points. Seven lead changes, six ties. We were only down two at the half, and then they blew it open in the second half, uh, similar to our first game against them. 
13 points for a guy coming off the bench. We had 12 points from uh, Crudup. Moten with 22. Yeah, just nobody really performed. 41% shooting. They shot 52% from three-point range. Uh, that is hard to overcome. <laughs> that is hard to overcome. All right, so HBU won, so they move on to face uh, McNeese. So there's your top two seeds. Oh, there's... That's... Um, maybe this is where we can see it. Southland Conference Tournament? There it is. All right, so I guess you just have to wait till the tournament starts, but it doesn't really tell you. Um, all right, so Stephen F. Austin and Texas Corpus Christi, Texas A&M Corpus Christi. HBU and Abilene Christian were first-round games. We had a bye. Uh, HBU with the win over us. Stephen F. Austin upset Incarnate Word. Technically an upset because of the seedings. Uh, and then uh, now it'll be McNeese and Central Arkansas who got the two round buys. Uh, we'll sim the day. When I get to the postseason, I usually go to one day at a time just to uh, see. Well, I tell you what, so Stephen F. Austin, they, uh, they got hot and ran the table, as did HBU. Uh, neither, and neither one of those games were very close, so... Uh, number one and number two and three and four seeds go down to the five and seven seeds. Let's play this day and see how that turns out. You have new mail. Well, I hope none of my players were stupid enough to declare for the draft. And Stephen F. Austin wins 63-57. So... Now, if we kind of think about that, so if we go back to the standings, right? We talked about that earlier. So Stephen F. Austin finished fifth in the regular season, but they had a really good team. I mean, they won 19 games, right? So they win the tournament, so they get the automatic berth, irregardless of their RPI. So now everything else, you know, they'll get the automatic pass, which will knock a top 64 team out of the tournament uh, so your top 25 is pretty much guaranteed but then you start adding in your conference champions and then that's when you start getting your second third fourth you know six or seven teams from the ACC five teams from the Big East whatever uh, so the problem the problem that I, I see here is I would really like to know when the uh, tournament selection is, right? You know, because that's kind of like the next break. All right, so I'm going to jump in. So I do not see the, I don't see the postseason tournaments in here, right? Tournament brackets. Okay, so this, all right, this is still the Big Ten tournament, all right, SEC tournament, SEC tournament, all right, now here's the ACC, the Big East, all right, so we'll, we can follow along a little bit, it's not as, it's not as smooth as it could be just to figure out where you need to go, and I don't know if the 
You have new mail. Sim to postseason will again shoot us over to that point. All right, there's the selection show. All right. Okay, so you can watch the selection show by clicking the action icon, which is this blue arrow. So, okay, that's what it is. When the, when the tournament's done, then you'll switch from the games, games option to the advance option. And so, okay, so it kind of forces you to see it. Okay, that makes a little sense. Again, not knowing because I haven't played through a whole season before. Uh, the Norton finalists, so you can see we're down to the final 10 uh, contenders for the player of the year and none of our underclassmen that was probably smart uh, all right so we're gonna watch the selection show and let's go ahead and just watch the show uh, just you know at least once uh, that way you guys can kind of see how it works And you can kind of click your mouse to kind of get through here. Each time that you, um, right here, you can choose to do it auto or manual. All right, so Stephen F. Austin actually gets in. Uh, of course, they are our conference champions. Uh, so this is a play-in game. So even though they won the conference, they were still not considered good enough to get one of the 64 slots. So is it the best of the best of the worst? <laughs> All right. And the other playing game, uh, Florida Gulf Coast and Manhattan. And now we're getting into uh, the other two playing games. So you have eight, eight teams. Georgia got in there. All right. Now one of the play-ins will get Syracuse. Kentucky got a two seed, Arizona a three seed, University of Five Slam a Jamma with a four seed. That's actually impressive. All right, there's your 5 12 matchup that people are always scared about. Now we're into the toss up matchups. Louisville got a one seed, Cal, Yukon. North Carolina with a four seed, even though they were 21 and nine. All right, there's a play-in winner. I wonder how they choose to get a, you know, the first uh, the first bracket was the play-in got the one seed in Syracuse. Now your play-in's getting a five seed. I, I don't understand that. That might be one where maybe Stephen F. Austin, our game is going to determine, not our game, but... You know, that game with Stephen F. Austin from our conference, maybe that'll be going there because they warranted a higher seed because they won 19 games and they were a conference champion. I, I don't know. I don't know how they determined that. I just figured they'd all be 16 seeds if they were playing in. All right. And Maryland gets a one seed. Purdue, Washington, LSU got a four seed. Notre, and there's another five seed, but I think in that last bracket, it'll be the one seed again. So I don't know how they figure that out. And there it is. So it's, so, so two of the play-ins play one seeds, two play five seeds. I, I don't, not sure how that works or why. Kansas, Missouri, uh, Mississippi State, Ohio State. Didn't see Michigan in there. All right, when you're done, there's your advance button that lights up. All right, so we don't have a postseason tournament. So we can actually play the entire season. And we'll just fast sim through this. We'll do a quick recap. Let me downsize to another screen while this is happening. It's not going to affect you guys, just what you see. And I'm up at 34 minutes, so I do want to kind of cut this off here shortly. So we'll probably do that here with the end of games. And then we'll come back in the next video and we'll start with the minutia of the season wrap-up. And 
whatnot. Now, you saw that it was doing recruiting, so don't forget, if you have not signed all your players and used all your scholarships, don't do more than a week at a time and be doing your weekly recruiting during that. Um, again, I just started streaming these, so if you're interested in that, you'll have to head over to my YouTube channel, uh, which is the same as my stream channel, except there's a blank, uh, space between uh, Cajun and the numbers, uh, but it's the same name, just with a space. You have new mail. With a space. Uh, let's see. All right, so we've got mail. Let's go check that out. All right, the award winners are announced, so we'll go action that. And I tell you what, this is a good place for a cut, I think. Uh, we'll come back. We'll do the awards in the next uh, video. Um, I may or may not stream that. It just depends on what I'm doing that day. Uh, but I'm going to move on to something else for today, I believe. Probably get into some Fallout 4. Uh, i got to get another video up on my YouTube channel. So thanks for checking this out, and we will see you guys next time. Take care.